Today we are going to understand how to control services and demons using system CTL. Alright, let's get started. So we are here to understand what is system CTL and how it is used to control services and demons in Linux 7. System startup and server process are managed by system D system. Okay, so question comes what is daemon? So what is daemon? Daemons are the processes that wait or run in background performing various tasks. One more thing which comes to me that is socket. What is socket? So socket uh, to listen for connections, a daemon uses a socket. A bit of history, let's, uh, let me give you one example. I need to check what is uh, process one for this system. Okay. So here process ID one is allocated to system D daemon. So, all right. In previous version of Solaris or Linux servers, process ID one was assigned to init process. Now, from init to system D, we have upgraded. So, what we have got in this upgradation, we have some advantages. Let what all are these? We have what i personally feel these are the three advantages it is a, a number is a big like 10 20 ex uh, uh, advantages you can see here but i'm just going to focus on these three like boot boot speed has been increased tremendously on demand starting of demons again is a good feature because in previous version of solaris and linux most of the demons which are not required they are uh, they are being started by init process at the time of startup of the system so it uh, delays the system startup again uh, automatic service dependency management is also there so these uh, uh, advantages i have personally uh, check on from the Linux 6 or 5 to towards Linux 7. Here, how we use uh, system, system CTL. This is the first command which shows what all units we do have. We have service unit that is the system services or it could be user requests, sockets, targets, device, mount and these all are things. Let me give you one example system CTL status SSHD right here SSHD dot service so this ex extension is keyword so what all keywords we have here and for these keywords uh, like units we have status so what this status denotes and what all could be the possible status so let's see for as as here we have active running right so i'll give you example of what could be the status clear so here keywords so these are the possible keywords like loaded if my service is loaded uh, like configuration file has been loaded it will show you the loaded status if service is running with one or more uh, processes it will show you active running if my process has been completed successfully one time, it will show you active exited. It has completed his task. Activating 
means process is still waiting for uh, either an event or the resources inactive inactive is not running definitely enabled and disabled uh, like when uh, uh, enabled services uh, would be started at the boot time and disabled services uh, are not coming up at the boot time static is uh, cannot be enabled uh, manually but it could be done uh, by other enabled units or when it is required by demons or processes so it could be uh, enabled automatically so these are the possible uh, keywords so how we check uh, system uh, processes and how we uh, work how we start stop and uh, perform all the tasks so first if I execute system CTL or if I want to query the state of all units to verify a system startup so you should use so this much commands you can this much uh, services or everything you can see here these are the, all the units whether loaded or not these are the loaded units active running and description what or what is this arbitrary executable file format file system auto mount point so like this you can see every all the all the all the system states or unit states you can verify like this command if you want to see only service units so what command should be executed system ctl it will show you only service units more why i'm using more because it will show you phase wise so arbitrary ccpp.service you can see here it is loaded active arbitrary ops what all are the service units you can see here if you want to see a detailed uh, a list of any service so what you can use is system ctl uh, status sshd service hyphen l you can use for listing like uh, it will uh, list all the possible information for you so you can read it from here like it is loaded and uh, the the path of the service it is enabled enabled means which i have told you earlier that it will come at the time of boot when it has been started 10 hours ago what is the process id what is the main id right so and uh, the, this is system d started open server daemon then this port it is running on port 22 so these things you you could get from here if you want to check whether your service is enabled or not you can use system ctl is is enabled sshd so it is enabled it means your service at the boot time service will start up if you want to see whether your service is active or not you can also use if you want to check all the uh, services which uh, which all are having loaded units so you can use system here list units hyphen hyphen type these all are the loaded units these are the active few of the exited few of them are running right so you could see 
like this x fan it is failed unit so here also you can see what is loaded what is active what is so, so these things you can get from here as well if you want to check uh, like loaded active or inactive units so you should add at last hyphen all so it will show you all the units either uh, loaded exited or inactive that earlier it was not showing but here it is showing inactive that and all the information it will be showing here all right so you can check like this if you want to check enable or disable settings for all units you could use list unit files so how to enable list unit files hyphen hyphen type is equal to service so you could see like what all right these are the enable and disable services these are the enabled one this this is disabled this is static so by this command you can use if you want to see only failed units so what is the command system ctl these are uh, three uh, here you can say uh, these are the three uh, field processes kdm service rhnst service and vx fan so this is lsb start to right these three the field services which you can see now i'm going to check how to start and how to stop a service like through system ctl so we can so it is uh, check here it is only two seconds ago so you have restarted the service so we start only for the stop services uh, one thing which we can do is uh, load and reload you can do suppose you want to reload this service or you have uh, made some changes to the configuration file in that scenario you have to reload the service you can reload like this and you can check like this so so like this you can check all the services one most important thing that is masking you can mask any of the service so how to do masking and what is masking so let me tell you what is mask mask is to prevent an administrator for from accidentally starting a service service is masked will not be started uh, by executing start command first you have to unmask the service then only you are able to start or stop or, or reload or whatever enable disable you want to do on the particular service suppose you want to mask the service how can you do system ctl mask a network right so now if you want to uh, now is 
to must right active and exited so now you cannot perform any operation on this uh, service like restarting or restarting stopping whatever you cannot do anything because it is masked 